shipwreck has shocked the people who found it. That's because this little item that you see in that video there belongs to the enemy. Jessica Clark explains the surprise that fits, as you just saw, right in the palm of your hand. Uh, it's in great shape. It's something else. <laughs> this little button blew the minds of the scientists who found it. In 2009, local archaeologists with the St. Augustine Lighthouse Archaeology Maritime Program discovered a shipwreck off the coast of St. Augustine, and they worked on it for years. The ship sank in 1782 during the American Revolutionary War, and it was full of British colonists and soldiers who supported England and were against the folks like Paul Revere and George Washington. Lab work is still being done on the hardened globs of debris that were taken from the shipwreck and last month carefully chipping away at the debris to see what's underneath. I know this one spot that looked a little round. It was a button. But once I popped it out, I saw that it had USA on it and got really confused. And I, I know when he showed it to me, I did a double take. Because what in the world was a USA button from an army uniform of someone fighting for independence from Britain doing on a British ship? This is a, a British loyalist ship. So these are the guys who would not have been wearing these USA buttons. They wouldn't have been caught dead wearing a USA button. But it's quite likely this is a war trophy. Uh, if you were on the battlefield, you wanted to take a piece of that action home to remember it by, you could easily strip a button from the body of a fallen soldier. These archaeologists learned that Patriot soldiers were wearing uniforms with USA buttons on them in 1777. That means there were USA buttons before there was USA money. You have to win the war before you can have your own country, right? The button will be on display with the rest of the items found from the shipwreck at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. So this is a, this is a special little button for us. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side. Sure.